In this cube-shaped network, each edge is a resistor with resistance R. The system is symmetric about the axis from A to B. We are going to find the equivalent resistance using the assumed current method. We send current from point A to point B, which are diagonally opposite corners of the cube. At point A, we assume a total current of 3I enters the cube. This current splits equally into three outgoing paths, so each path carries I. At the next junctions, due to symmetry, each current splits into two equal paths. Let's focus on one path, AJKB. From A to J, the current is I. At J, it splits equally into I divided by 2 in each branch. At K, two halves combine again to make I. So, the total current reaching B is again 3I. Let's assume the equivalent resistance between A and B is RE. Then the potential difference across the cube is V equals 3I times RE. Because the total current is 3I. Now, let's calculate the same potential difference by considering the specific path AJKB. You can choose any path, but we select this one. Equating both expressions for V.